previously. So we're going to hopefully get some better sound on this one. Once you jump back in, let me know that you can hear me okay. But having sound is important for going live. Set the camera up here. I'm gonna tip it down a little bit. We're good now. So I did start this light just a moment ago. There was no sound. So I'm gonna show you what I already unboxed. We started with the um, PR box from Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe has introduced a new product. We started with the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Glow products do have fragrance, so they're not for everybody, but I think that they're good products. I think that they work well. Fragrance generally doesn't bother me. They use natural fragrance. They also have the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Cream, so that's a good nighttime moisturizer. If you're jumping in and you are so along with the Plum Plump line, they introduced a new Plum Plump Hyaluronic Acid Glossy Lip Balm. And this feels really nice on the lips. I've tried it. Good for sleeping and hydrating your lips. And um, I like that one a lot. So that was the, the unboxing from Glow Recipe. We're going to toss that out of the way. And then we moved on to... First Aid Beauty. They've introduced a sunscreen. I have not tried this one before, and it is a tinted sunscreen. So this is an SPF, uh, let's see, what does it say? SPF 30 with zinc oxide. So the main ingredient here is a 22% zinc oxide. Being a completely mineral sunscreen, it would probably leave a white cast if not for the fact that it is a tinted sunscreen. Most guys are not into tinted sunscreens. This is probably marketed towards women, but we're going to give it a try. I'll let you know what I think. We're going to see how strong the tint is. And I've found that since growing a beard, the tinted sunscreens kind of clump up in the beard a little bit, but that really is not a strong tint. I will definitely try that as a daily sunscreen over the next couple of days, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it, but it very lightweight, very fluid sunscreen, not an overwhelming tint from First Aid Beauty. So new sunscreen. I always love when companies can make a nice mineral sunscreen that is not going to leave a white cast and it doesn't look like this one will. It may be a different story on skin of color, but with a little bit of uh, tint added probably from iron oxides, it does appear to be pretty good. So an ultra sheer tint that blends seamlessly is what they promise. That's from First Aid Beauty. <clears throat> so we're gonna accumulate the products. I'm using this little screwdriver to open it. <clears throat> this is from James Brand in collaboration with Huckberry. And it's just a nice little head screwdriver that sticks on your keychain. We'll open to it also. The next package, I'm not sure who this is from, a lot of these, sometimes they won't say the name of the brand on them. They'll just come from a shipping warehouse. So we're going to see what we got in this one. And this one is from Neutrogena. So Neutrogena has sent some products. Here comes the sun. So we've got more sunscreen. So this is the whole collection of the Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid. This is one of the biggest challenges with a tinted sunscreen is that a lot of companies will come out with one single shade of the tint and it may not work well for every skin type. But the problem is that you cannot just create the same sunscreen and put a different shade of tint in it because you have to test each and every product to make sure that it is providing the SPF level of protection that it claims on the box. And so when you take that sunscreen and you put it in uh, another tint, another shade, you have to do all of the same independent testing and that can get really expensive for a brand. Now Neutrogena is a huge brand owned by Johnson & Johnson and so they have the money to go ahead and do that because they have four different tints for their mineral UV tint face liquid. So from light, medium, medium deep to a deep shade, it's gonna complement a lot of different skin tones. 
I'm just going to open up the light face liquid tint and show you what that looks like. I'm not going to use the, the deeper ones. We'll just give those away probably um, on another video or maybe just do a giveaway here on YouTube, maybe over on Instagram. But this is their very light tint, and we're going to put that right on top of the First Aid Beauty and kind of compare those. But sunscreen, one of the most important products you can use in your skincare routine. This one does not seem quite as blending in as the First Aid Beauty. But as we get it in there, it's really not, you know, overwhelming, at least at that very light tint. So you'd be able to find one that would complement your skin tone and do really well for you. So, so far we've got Glow Recipe, First Aid Beauty, and now Neutrogena sending four sunscreens. The next thing that we're going to jump into here, this says from labware.com, it feels like clothing. Don't remember ordering anything, so we're going to see what has been sent. If we can get this package open. We have a lab coat. I know I didn't order this lab coat. Ah, oh, there we go. Neutrogena sent me a lab coat. So a branded lab coat from Neutrogena with my name on it, except I am a DO, a doctor of osteopathic medicine, and this says MD, so we've got a typo. I don't know, Neutrogena knows that. Somebody made a mistake along the way. But we'll try on the lab coat. They did get me. So we'll see. this is a Dickies brand lab coat and the large, I think will work. So other than a misspelled name, thank you Neutrogena. The name is spelled right, the credentials are wrong. Got that out of the way. All right, Neutrogena, two gifts while I was gone out of town. Next, we're moving on to a box from Tatcha, so we do know the, who this one is from on the outside. I've used a few different products from Tatcha, and I've always enjoyed them. Their cleanser was one of my favorites, and I'm hoping that they've restocked my cleanser in here, because I believe I asked them to do that. Nope. Didn't get a cleanser, but we have the Tatcha water cream. The pour refining water cream. I've used that before, it's very nice. And then the dewy skin cream. I like that they come with this little golden spatula on top to dish it out. But Tatcha makes nice products, they're expensive. So if you get the chance to try them, I highly recommend it. Um, I have one of these open in my drawer. I've been using it at home occasionally, so we may have to use these for a giveaway. So the Dewy Skin Cream and the Water Cream. I love the product from Tatcha. I need them to send me another cleanser because the cleanser that I used from them was by far one of my favorites. Okay, moving on, we're going to go to Versed Skin Care. Verst has a number of good products that I've enjoyed using. And I don't know what they're sending me today, but there's a lot of boxes to get through that were sitting at my doorstep when I got home. Okay. Glowing complexions. Verst, high performance skincare for everyone. Doesn't tell me what's in here. I'm gonna open it up and see. Away when I'm doing my skincare. The Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen. I have used this one. It's very nice. It's a zinc oxide sunscreen, SPF 35. I do believe it's tinted. which again, the tint really helps for these mineral sunscreens because they do have the tendency to leave a white cast. It is tinted, I remembered correctly. We're gonna put a little of that here. 
and we'll test it. But this, there's a couple other products in there too. So thank you from Versed Skin Care. This one goes on a little more smooth, I would say, than the Neutrogena one, but not very nice. Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen from Versed Skin Care. We've got the Gentle Retinol Serum, the Restart Retinol Serum. So retinol, one of the most important products if you're trying to reduce texture, help improve the appearance of your, it can help with uh, discoloration as well. If you're gonna use a retinol, I highly recommend that you wear sunscreen because retinol can make you a little bit more sun sensitive. So that's a good introductory retinol. That's gonna do a good job. The best retinol, the one that you can tolerate using frequently, if you can only use your retinol once a week or twice a week, um, but you have a different retinol that you can use daily, I think you get more benefit from going with a daily retinol that you can use frequently. So we're gonna put that back in the box for now. I'm not gonna open that. Also from Versed, we have the Day Dissolving Cleansing Balm. So if you're into doing a double cleanse, it can be really helpful for removing excess makeup or uh, sunscreen. In the case of, like myself, a cleansing balm is really great. You could also use a cleansing oil to do a double cleanse. So a balm is, of course, going to have a very thick, heavy texture, but then it warms in your hand and it helps to remove some of those more oil-based products that you may have on your skin. So I do appreciate a good cleansing balm. And then a moisturizing gel cream, again from Versed Skin Care. Generally, I like Versed. I haven't had any complaints about their products. This is gonna be a fairly lightweight moisturizer. You can see the gel texture there. It's not a heavy cream. So if you don't like the texture of a heavier cream, gel-based moisturizer is gonna do a good job. And if it's formulated well, it's still gonna provide great hydration. One of my favorite gel moisturizers is from Neutrogena, their Hydro Boost. Gel Cream Moisturizer does a really good job. I tend to prefer a really heavy moisturizer, um, but I find that the Hydro Boost still does a good job, even though it's got a very light texture. I do have more dry skin, uh, less oily. So, some good products from Versed. That's everything in that box. We'll toss it away. I'll remove that because it looks silly. But... Moving on to Oars and Alps. Oars and Alps sent me a package probably two years ago. They have a lot of sunscreen products. I think it's a more men's focused company. Oars and Alps, of course, being like, get in the boat, row the oars, Alps, you're hiking. So it's meant for active people who are outdoors a lot. That's kind of the target demographic. It's what they kind of use in their advertising material is people who are very active outdoors. So, only about 14% of men use sunscreen on their face or other exposed skin when outside. And melanoma, they got the just fact sheet in here, um, 100,000 cases plus of melanoma are gonna be diagnosed in the US every year. So, I think Oars and Alps has sent a number of their sun care products. We've got Everyday Sunscreen Lotion, SPF 35. I've used that, it's very nice, very lightweight. The After Sun Lotion with aloe and jojoba oil. So if you do get a little bit of sun and you need something, that's a good one to put on. You can get plain aloe vera as well. Keep it in the refrigerator and it's really cool and it feels good if you do happen to get a sunburn. But there's an After Sun Lotion. 100% Mineral Sunscreen Lotion, SPF 50. This is probably more intended as a body type of sunscreen. It's a zinc oxide. 19.6%, uh, so almost 20% zinc oxide. Uh, I don't recall using this. I'm willing to bet it's going to leave a white cast just because of that high level of zinc. And we'll test this over here just a little bit. I tend to not care if something leaves a white cast when I'm putting it on my body. If I'm just going to go outside and be active, you know, for being a 20% zinc oxide, that looks pretty good. 
So I take my statement back. I think Ors and Alps did a good job formulating that. Then there is a sunscreen spray, SPF 70. This is water resistant for 80 minutes. Not everybody is a fan of spray sunscreens, but I am. I like spray sunscreens. I find them to be very convenient to use on my arms and my legs. Uh, you know, if I'm rubbing a thick cream on my legs or arms with having hair there, it just doesn't always feel very good. The spray is nice and easy, goes on quickly. It's very light. If you do need to rub it a little bit, you're going to do great. And then my favorite product from Ors and Alps, they have restocked for me, but this is the stick. So a Go Stick Clear Sunscreen SPF 35, uh, water resistant for 80 minutes. I like a stick for a couple of reasons. It's really easy to reapply when you're, when you're using a stick. So if you've got dirt or anything on your hands and you're out hiking, you're doing something and you don't want to rub dirt all over your face because your hands are dirty, a stick is perfect to just reapply. So it goes on really easy. Hands, you know, are not getting rubbed all over. And this one, I've kept it in my truck before, even on hot days and it's not melting. So they formulated it in such a way that it can go to some of those higher temperatures without completely melting. This is a mineral sunscreen, mineral sunscreen, sorry, this is a chemical sunscreen stick. So the active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. So no zinc in here, but if it were zinc, it's going to be a white stick. This is a clear stick. Um, again, my favorite product from Ors and Alps. And then a little beach bag with Ors and Alps. So thank you to Ors and Alps for restocking me. Let's put all those sunscreens in the bag. We're ready for a day at the beach. We're ready to go on a hike. And that's a nice bag. We've got a pretty K-N-O-W, no beauty. I don't recall getting anything from them before, so this may be a new product for me. There we go. All right, this one is from No Beauty, the Glacial Bay Clay Mask. If we can get it out of here. Glacial Bay Clay Mask from No Beauty. Um, if you guys have heard of this brand or used them, send a comment and let me know. Pop this open. All right. Removes impurities, tightens pores, and restores radiance. I've used clay masks before. I don't love them when you have facial hair. But that looks like a clay mask. So this is going to be something you put on for a little while after your evening skincare routine, but you'll wash it off before bed. Got a little bit warm sitting in the vehicle on the way over here. What else have we got? Next one, Beekman 1802. I like the Beekman products. If you followed my short form video accounts like on TikTok or Instagram, you've definitely seen me talk about Beekman 1802 on my other YouTube channel. I did a full breakdown of Kat Stickler's Beekman 1802 routine. I like the products. They're formulated really well if you have sensitive skin. They give some really good options if you're sensitive to retinol. Boxes are just piling up over there. Beekman 1802, I like that they send other cool things in their boxes, so it's pretty common that I'll get a keychain or a bunch of stickers that my kids will fight over. We'll see what they sent here today. So this is the milkshake. So this is a toner. Toners used to be something that would help to balance the pH of your skin when you used a soap as a cleanser because soaps are very alkaline. So toners tended to be more acidic and the purpose of that was to get your skin's pH back to where it needed to be. So this is a hydrating toner. So this is not intended to change the pH of the skin. It's gonna say it's pH balanced, I'm sure but it's hard to see maybe on video. No, you can see it pretty well. 
we've got two different phases here. So you've got hyaluronic acid um, in a suspension here, and you've got squalane in a suspension up top. So the squalane is going to be very hydrating. Um, it's an important component of your skin's moisture barrier. Hyaluronic acid sits on top of the skin to give you a glowy and dewy look. So the intention when you use this is you shake it up first and you mix up those two different phases. And then when you spray it on, you're getting an even mixture, but you need to use it you know, pretty quick afterwards because you'll notice it's already starting to separate back out. But the Milkshake is a fun product. It looks really cool, it works well. If you want something to hydrate your skin really well before you put on a moisturizer, I love this product. Now, I never had this one before, but they have a little travel size also. Obviously this is too big to take on an airplane or to keep in your purse, but if you want something to kind of rehydrate on the go, uh, this one is not just a nice little size, exact same product, shake it up, you can use it to rehydrate the skin. And then you put on your moisturizer or you can just do that on the go if you need a little bit more hydration. So I love the milkshake from Beekman 1802. It doesn't look like we got any keychains or stickers today. That's okay. The skin care is enough. If you haven't used anything by Beekman 1802, I do recommend them. They're at Ulta. You can of course get them online. And we're down one more box. So this is just to advertise that they now have a travel size. Just about the size of your passport. Increase in hydration. Perfect. Ooh, somebody's at the door. I don't know who that would be. Let's go see. I'm assuming you just, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. This is fourth floor. Fourth floor, my bad. <laughs> sorry. I apologize. Have a good day. All right. Somebody came to the wrong door. They had a Slurpee in hand, though. I kind of wanted the Slurpee. Sorry about that. All right. Luminology. Sorry for that interruption. Now we're at Luminology. I don't think I've had anything from Luminology before. Absolutely love this. Leah Hollander, Luminology. We got several products here and they're all plastic wrap. We have the La Crema Deluxe Whipped Brightening Cream. That looks like a moisturizer white truffle extract and caviar extract pearl powder. That sounds very expensive. I don't know what these products cost. I have not used them before, but we'll have to give it a try. Illuminating caviar pearl serum. So we have a hydrating serum, white truffle extract and caviar extract. Never used those kind of ingredients in a skincare product before. If you guys have used anything from Luminosity, let me know, but we have a vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and glacier water from Switzerland. Sounds expensive. And Wonder Rose, a rose hip serum, which I cannot get out of this box. Let's see if we can get that. There we go. Rose hip serum. So those products I'll look forward to trying, but I'm not going to take them all out of the plastic now and create that mess. And we're down to one box, one final box. It's the biggest one. It's not skincare. Doesn't sound like it. Last box. We have got some energy drinks from Prime. My kids are crazy over Prime, and when I posted this inflatable pool floaty that they sent, I had tons of people message that they were so jealous. 
this is Logan Paul's brand. Um, and they have an ice pop, naturally flavored energy drink. Electrolytes, 300 milligrams of electrolytes, zero sugar, 200 milligrams of caffeine in an ice pop flavor. I'm not gonna drink this warm, but I will try it. Now, one issue with prime hydration. This is, this is my issue with their, their uh, electrolyte drinks or their energy drinks, is they are loaded with potassium. So if you are on a low sodium diet, it's not a good idea to consume a ton of potassium because your kidney kind of balances your potassium and your sodium. And if you consume a ton of potassium in a very low sodium diet, you could get too much potassium in your bloodstream that can actually potentially cause an arrhythmia in the heart. Now I have never heard of anybody having a problem like that from drinking Prime, but just be aware. If you're on a potassium sparing diuretic medicine like spironolactone, which is really commonly used for the treatment of hormonal acne, you should not consume tons of extra potassium. So if you're on spironolactone, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink Prime. This would not be my go-to to rehydrate or for energy. So this has um, 132 milligrams of potassium and they list 55 milligrams of sodium, which is very low. Um, that's my one gripe about Prime, is that when they claim to have all these electrolytes, it's mostly potassium because they use coconut water. Coconut's very high in potassium. And that's not the best thing for everybody. When I go to the gym and I want electrolytes, I'm usually gonna use Element, L-M-N-T. It is a powder hydration you can add to your water. They have a lot of different flavors, but it's much higher in sodium and lower in potassium, but it does have some magnesium as well, which is just gonna be more natural for your body because you tend to have a lot more sodium in your body than potassium. Um, your body tightly controls that through your kidneys, so you just want to be careful not to overload on potassium. Your body's a, a lot able to, a lot better able to handle that excess sodium if you're going too high, unless you have kidney problems or um, heart failure. So, young and you're healthy, you'll probably do fine drinking Prime or something with sodium. You know, Gatorade's going to be a little higher in sodium than it is in potassium. So, we're going to put this in the refrigerator, let that stuff get cold. And then uh, I'll try it and let you guys know. So that concludes all of the boxes that I have. So we unboxed everything, lots of stuff to go through. I was gone for 10 days and had all of these packages waiting for me. So let me know what of all of I unboxed, what would you wanna try if um, it were sent to you? Now somebody's gotta clean up this mess. Let me know if you guys like this, I'll go live more often. I can do these unboxings because I get a ton of PR packages and I can't use it all, but it's kind of fun to open it up here on camera. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic week. A great, sorry for the interruption at the door. And um, I'll see you next time.